everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hermione and I'm currently roasting alive. It's really warm in this room. Uh, today, I'm gonna be sharing with you a homeware haul. It's been a while since I've done any kind of homeware haul and because I'm moving into the new house, I thought I would just take it easy today and sit and talk with you guys and share some of the fun pieces I've picked up recently because I found some really cool things and most of these things will be in stores right now. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this pile. Before we jump in, I just wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I love Squarespace, you guys know I do. I use it for my personal website. So if you want to start a website, a blog, or an online store, do it with Squarespace. Now with all of that said, Let's jump into the extremely massive pile because I've got a lot to get through and this video is going to get very long very quickly. So the first thing in the pile is this big old fluffy rug. This I picked up in TK Maxx and I'm a little bit in love with it. It looks kind of like anthropology, Moroccan inspired and I saw this a few weeks ago and I couldn't really justify why to buy it, so I had to make up a reason. I don't want to be buying stuff that I don't need for the house. But then I realised that I'm going to move the rug in this room down into the sitting room because it's so kind of covered up by the bed. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's a great excuse. I'm just going to have to do that. This was $39.99, which isn't bad because it's absolutely ginormous. This is half of it. It's like, it's longer than me. I think it might be two meters long almost, maybe one and a half, but that's the wrong side. There we go. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this so much. I can't wait to put it down. I almost don't want to put it down because I don't want to, I don't want anyone stepping on it. But yeah, that's the first thing. And some more bits from TK Maxx. These are actually gifts from my nan, which was really sweet of her. I was having a rough day a few weeks back and then she came back with a couple of these bits and uh, she's just the nicest person in the world. Um, and she knows me too well because look at this. This is a Le Creuset pink utensil holder. I hope I'm saying that right, Le Creuset. Le Crusset, if I wanna be really British. Sorry to any of my French viewers out there. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. Le Creuset. Anyway, um, this is obviously gonna go in the kitchen. I'm doing a bit of a pastel kind of Palm Springs vibe in the kitchen, I think, because Ben doesn't mind, by the way. The sitting room and the living room are gonna be a little bit more a mixture of both of our styles, but um, he doesn't care about the kitchen. In fact, he doesn't care about any of the house. He just keeps saying, do what you want, I trust you, I like what you do, and I'm like, be careful, because otherwise everything's gonna be pink. So um, you don't want to regret saying that. But I'm going to be a lot more mindful of him in the sitting room. But he doesn't care about the kitchen a single bit. So it's going to be pink. To go with that piece, she also got me the salt and pepper shakers. And these are so cute. They look like little tiny jugs. They're adorable. They're just really different to anything I've ever seen before. And I think they were $9.99. This brand can get really pricey, but... Um, they are very good. So um, if you find them in TK Maxx, it's worth picking up a few bits because there are always good deals in there. And lastly from TK Maxx, I've got a lot of stuff from TK Maxx. It's one of the few places we have in my area to actually buy homeware, but um, I picked up some saucepans, which sounds really exciting, but these are what kind of inspired me to do the pastel theme in the first place. And these are just Brabantia. I needed some saucepans for my new induction hob. All of my old saucepans from university are looking a little bit rough. So uh, I needed to just pick up some new ones. I got an entire set of saucepans and frying pans in this pink color. So um, yeah, these were $7.99. I think the frying pans are a bit more expensive, like $11.99, something like that. But it's worth it. I really needed them. Not very exciting, but they're pink, so. We recently got a Home Bargains here, and I love it. So I went in the other day and I picked up this file folder holder. This was $3.99. I needed one of these desperately for my desk in my office. Although you can't move in my office at the moment, so I don't know why I kind of jumped the gun. But when I saw this, I knew I needed it for my paperwork. So I picked it up. It's gonna be sat here until my office is done. But yeah, I really liked it. And that was only $3.99. Home Bargains is just on another level. I love that place. <laughs> another place I really love to go at the moment is Sainsbury's for their home decor pieces. The supermarkets are stepping it up at the moment. Aldi is good, Asda is good. Definitely check them all out if you're looking for homeware stuff because they're pretty inexpensive. But 
I picked up this blanket recently from Sainsbury's. It was on sale for £8 instead of... I'm not sure how much it was originally, but I bought it for £8. And it's so nice, I don't want to unwrap it yet, but it's just this blue and white stripe. I'm going for like a bit of a coastal vibe in the sitting room, so I thought this would go really nicely with all the like neutral colours and the wood, and I thought Ben would really like it, so yeah, I picked that one up. Also from Sainsbury's a few months ago, I picked up some of these bits. They might still have them, but they were on sale. They were three pounds each, and these ones are just candles. I picked up two of these, and two of these, these are just candle holders for smaller candles. I thought they were so nice. They're kind of like a, a brushed satin gold color, and they just sit like right here on the bedside tables. This one's kind of a wild card. I picked up these candle holders in Poundland, so I thought I'd throw them in here, but they are like Monstero leaf kind of candle holders, and obviously they're only a pound, so I got a couple of these for the garden. I think I'm gonna spray paint them, because they're kind of like a muddy copper colour, and I want to, I want them to be gold. So uh, yeah, but that's not bad for a pound. Pretty good. This is also from TK Maxx, I've just found it in the pile. It's um, just a pump dispenser for the bathroom, and I thought it went really, really nicely with the tiles. It's originally from DKNY, and it was on sale for six pounds, originally 7 99 Not a great discount, but I thought that would be really nice. It feels kind of like hotel-y, so um, yeah, pick that up for the bathroom. Another supermarket I love at the moment is Aldi's. They have some amazing home decor pieces. They have the worst queue management systems because I end up in the queue for like 10 minutes at a time, but they have really good home decor pieces, so I kind of forget about that. Anyway, at the moment they're selling these rugs and this is just half the size. It's a runner, I really needed a runner for the hallway, and they do these in a variety of different colours, they've got pink, I think they do like light grey, blue, different patterns. I picked up this and my friend Kat picked up the blue one, we, we always manage to buy like loads of stuff when we go to the supermarkets together, it's terrible. But I'm really pleased with this, it was only $14.99 for a, an entire rug, so yeah check out your local Aldi's, they're pretty good, and uh, this solves my needing a rug runner dilemma. Also from Aldi's, these are still in the box because I don't have space to unpack them yet, but as soon as I do, I'll show you them properly. I picked up these marble nesting tables. They used to be like $39.99, and I've been waiting and waiting to snag them at the right price. They just went down to $12.99 in my local Aldi's, which is like, 70% off or something so I had to get them and it's two tables so I thought that was a very good deal I think I'm gonna spray paint the legs like gold or something but yeah I was really impressed to find those for such a good price I've also got some stationery to show you guys I'm gonna put this in my new office I've got a few notebooks these are from a company called oh dear they do like stationery cards things like that they actually very kindly sent these to me this is not sponsored by them at all but they did send me a lovely little package and I mean look at this isn't that the cutest thing ever I am obsessed this is Palm Springs to the max I just love these so much, they're really nice, I love their cactus prints, I do have a few more but they're in my office and not everything in my office is accessible at the moment because it's um, full of boxes but thank you so much to them for sending me these, these are lovely, they've actually given me a coupon code if you'd like to get, I think it's 15% off, I think it's Hermione15, I will double check that and I will leave it on screen for you guys if you want to check out Odia, but yeah, they're really cute. And lastly, this piece is from an unusual usual place for me to buy homeware and um, that's B&Q. This cushion came from B&Q, yes, the hardware store. I didn't know they had actually really cute cushions and stuff. They also have really nice lamps. I have my eye on a lamp but uh, I picked this up because I have been in there many a time in the last few weeks spending, oh you know, about six or seven hundred pounds on paint and varnish and tiling supplies, so um, within that time I did manage to sneak in a £10 cushion. But I'm not trying to hurry back there anytime soon because I have spent way too much money in there recently. Anyway, 
that is the last thing on my list. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I do love sitting down and doing this once in a while. It kind of breaks things up a little bit. I also want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for once again sponsoring this video. You guys might know but I love Squarespace. I use it for my personal website. I've actually used it for a few university projects in the past. That's how much I love Squarespace. That was before they even contacted me. I really really believe in what they do. I think the thing I like most about Squarespace is that it has really stylish designer templates so it makes it very easy for you to drag and drop all of your content and still have a very sleek looking website with little to no effort. It's also an all-in-one platform, there's no installs, you can buy your domain through Squarespace or if you already have a domain elsewhere you can actually transfer it to Squarespace and handle it from the platform which is really handy. It's great for websites and blogs like mine but it's really good for if you have an online store. It's a great way to handle purchases, check your inventory, etc. So if you are starting a website or something like that, I really highly recommend you check out Squarespace because it's worked really well for me in the past. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.